Hey church, Pastor Mark here. I just want to share with you an update. I know a lot of you have seen that Virginia is slowly reopening. There are some dates put out by the governor. There are some businesses that are going to be welcome to open next week. And so before we get the question, I want to go ahead and answer what our plan is, what it looks like for us. I've noticed a lot of churches releasing guides and phases, and some of them have dates on them. And man, I, I know that each church is going to make those decisions that are best for their congregation. Um, I want to say first of all, that we are not putting a date on paper that we're looking to open because as soon as we put a date on paper, something will change with the number of cases in the state. Something will change uh, with the death rate or, or COVID itself. So we're not going to put a date on paper because we'd hate to have to move it in three weeks, in two weeks, in 10 days because of some change that happened, whether it be from the governor or the federal level or even here locally. So we're not going to put a date down yet. We'd hate to have to change that. So what we've been doing is what we plan to keep doing. We're going to continue streaming. We're also going to continue keeping an eye on what our governor says, what federal mandates are out there. And so our small groups that are meeting right now, they're making sure that they have less than 10 people, uh, but we're not gathering for worship on Sundays yet. We're looking forward to that. I want to share with you what we're planning and what we're looking for. Um, some churches are moving toward a family worship service where they're going to have sections for families to sit together. And I'm just going to be honest with you as we've prayed and talked with our leadership we want to make sure that when we open back up we can open all the way up we don't want to open and just have a little bit of the service we want to offer kids service we our kids leaders love your kids and we know your kids love coming to church and it's also nearly impossible to keep kids socially distanced so we're going to make sure that uh, we're probably not going to be one of the first as a matter of fact we're not going to be one of the first churches to open we're going to be a little slower in opening up that is not because of fear I'm not afraid. I believe God is going to protect us. He's going to take care of us. That is because we take seriously our responsibility to protect you as a member of our church, to protect our community, the people around us, and to protect the vulnerable that we're related to, that some of us live with, that some of us live next door to. So we are faith-filled, uh, but we're also being patient and leaning in to those virtues, those traits of Holy Spirit lifestyle. Man, we are patient. Uh, we are loving our neighbors. And so we are cautiously moving forward. We're optimistic. We're hopeful for the future. Uh, but at the same time, we're not going to put a date down. Uh, we hope that things continue to move forward. Uh, I've seen some churches do some outdoor services, and that's awesome. We don't have the parking or the capacity for that. And I'm excited about the different ways that churches are using this as an opportunity to reach people and to minister. So we're going to continue meeting online. Our groups are going to continue meeting online. Those that are smaller than 10 are meeting in person. And uh, as those bands get lifted, and maybe the groups are able to grow as those lift those bands go up to 50 again. Who knows how it'll work? We're keeping an eye on it. We're going to keep you updated. And I want to make this clear. We're not going to open church back up and you don't find out about it for a few days. Like as soon as we open the church back up, you will hear about it. You guys know that we are good at texting you, emailing you, following up with you. It'll be on Facebook. It'll be on Instagram. It will be in your inbox when we have a date to open. We do not have a date yet. We're praying. We're excited. We're trusting God and we're moving forward. But at the same time, uh, we are moving cautiously forward knowing we have a responsibility as the leaders of this church to shepherd to pastor and to protect people. Most of the time I'm in charge of protecting people spiritually. They're like, hey, be careful. Hey, don't watch that. Hey, make sure you're staying close to God. But right now we have a little bit of a physical responsibility. So we are not open yet. We don't have a date on the calendar, but we are excited as the state begins to open slowly. It may be that we are now closer to opening than before. I don't know when we'll see you again in person, but it's going to be good. It's going to be great. We're going to worship together. We're going to hug. It's going to be awesome. But until that day, man, we're going to continue doing what we're doing. We're going to do it with excellence. And so I invite you to watch tonight's live stream. Uh, Wednesday at seven o'clock, we're going to dig into Galatians, uh, talking about, man, chapter six, where it discusses how we are called not just to love one another, not just to encourage one another, but to really view our lives as a seed that is sown, an investment that is made. So looking forward to that tonight at seven o'clock on YouTube, seven o'clock on Facebook. And one day, man, we're going to get back together. Thank you for being patient, church. We love you. We're praying for you. We'll see you on the live streams.